Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. Are you happy with your life the way it is right now? If not, you know how you can change that? Send out a different vibe. Yes, it's as easy as that. I'm going to give you some tips that are very, very basic, and I'm going to share with you some tools from my friend Michael Loge, Master Law of Attraction teacher and author of the book Law of Attraction, which I highly recommend. But here's the thing. If there's something going on in your life that you're not happy with, instead of complaining about it, focusing on it, going to your friends and complaining about it some more, think about what you do want. I'm going to share with you some of Michael's tools here. We want to avoid the words don't, not, and no. If you're, oh, sorry, shiny, ah. Okay, hopefully you can see that. <laughs> I have glare. So if you're talking about something and you're using the words don't, not, and no, you're actually putting attention on what you don't want. So start right there. Catch yourself when you're using the words don't, not, and no. And then you want to ask yourself, so what do it? Where am I? Oh my God, I'm so crooked. <laughs> so what do I want? What do you want? And when you know what you want, then you can send a different vibe. And Michael calls that a vibe reset. So if you like these buttons, Michael sells them. You can go to his website. I'll put it right down here. And I have another beautiful tool from Michael that kind of says it all. The only way to get different results in both your personal and business life is to send out a different vibe. There you have it. If you don't like what's going on, change your vibe. And so here, let's, let's talk about that for a minute. Let's say that you are not happy with your job. I get this with clients all the time. Sometimes my friends go this, through this situation too. So what I always suggest to them is, okay, if you're not happy with your job, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But let's focus on something that you like about the job. Do you have any coworkers that you like? Do you like the actual work that you're doing? Do you like the location? where you work, any little aspect, I want you to focus on that and how much you enjoy it and appreciate it. Leave the other stuff out of the equation. If there's a coworker you can't stand, take your attention off of them as much as you can. You obviously probably have to interact with them, but just put the best spin on it and just think, okay, well, they're doing their best. I'm doing my best. I'm going to focus on this coworker that I like better. If there's an aspect to your work that you really like, focus on that. If there's an activity that you get to do, if there's a project you get to work on and you love it, focus on that. If you don't enjoy the meetings, leave the meetings out of the equation. Let's just not even put attention on them. And when you're in them, focus on the project that you enjoy working on. So it's just a matter of shifting your attention, which will then change your vibe. And what will happen when you start focusing on the positive, you know, you can do this in relationships too. If, if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're just not clicking with them or you're just not enjoying their company that much anymore, focus on the positive aspects of that person and how you would like things to be in your relationship. Maybe you would like to interact with them a different way. Maybe you would like them to respond to you a different way. Maybe you would like to be doing different things with them. So just focus on those positive aspects. And here's, here's what will happen, and it can happen in any situation. With work, you're focusing on those positive things that you appreciate and enjoy. You will start getting more of those, or you might attract a new job where that's all it is. It's just all the good stuff and the stuff that you didn't put your attention on, that you took your attention off of, that you didn't care for. That doesn't exist in the new job or your job could change. There are so many possibilities with these situations and the thing that will get you there is changing your vibe and focusing on what you do want. Now in the relationship, there could be a shift in the relationship. The dynamic between you and the person that you're focusing on could change and improve or kind of like the job, that relationship might go away and then you attract new people who respond to you the way that you would like to be responded to, who do the activities with you that you want to be doing with friends so, or in a romantic relationship. So just know that the, the outcome is always going to be positive if you focus on shifting your vibes. And when we talk about having a different vibe, it just means something more positive and focusing on what you do want because you don't want to shift it to something different that's something that you don't want because 
You don't want what you don't want. So we want to focus on the positives and just keep coming back to this. What, darn it, why am I so crooked? So what do I want, okay? And just think all you have to do is shift your vibe. And you might get pulled back into it like, oh, but that's bugging me so much. And oh, it came up again. And you know what? You just have to be diligent and be like, nope, I'm going to focus over here on this stuff that I appreciate and enjoy and that I like and that I want more of. And it's just a habit. You'll just get in the habit of focusing on what you do want and changing your vibe and sending a different vibe. And then watch your life transform around you because you'll be attracting different stuff, better stuff, stuff that feels better, stuff that you enjoy in every aspect of your life because it becomes a habit. So you do it at home, you're gonna get more good stuff at home. You do it at work, you're gonna get more good stuff at work. So it's, it's kind of fun because after a little while you look around and go, wow, my life is totally different and I love it all. I'm so happy. And look, all I had to do was change my vibe. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It's not a hard thing. It can be very easy. And as my friend Judy Gary says, it's so easy. I wish I could say with her accent, it's so easy. Y'all love her. So Judy, hi Judy. Thank you for that great message all the time. I wish I had an easy button from Staples. Easy. So it can be easy. Just decide what you want and then focus on that and then find the positive aspects of your current situation and focus on them diligently. This is how you change your vibe. This is how you send a different vibe. So that's my message for you today. And I hope that these videos help you change your vibe every week and raise it a little bit and feel more positive and feel a little bit better and go forward and know how to create what you want a little more clearly. And if you do enjoy these videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And if you feel so inspired, share with your family and friends. And if you happen to be a caregiver like me, I want to share with you the Google Plus community for enlightened caregivers created by my friend Penny Petty and I. We're both our mother's caregivers. And if you are in the situation, if you know someone who is, you need some support, you need a place to vent, you need some like-minded people who understand what you're going through, come over and join us. It's open to everyone. We'd love to have you there. So come on over there. And, uh, and if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tannamarshall.com and get on the mailing list. And with that, I just want to wish you a great weekend. If anything comes up that you're not digging, send out a different vibe, change your vibe, and watch your situation change. And this is going to be fun. Have fun with it. You'll see everything in your life changing, becoming more of what you want. So good luck with that. I'm here to support you with that. If you forget about it, watch this video again and get your vibes going in the direction that you want. Have a great one. I'll see you next time.